Okay, let's begin the defense of Farmingdale. We will look at our first Dawn of the Zeds event card. So this is turn one. And what we have is Local Zeds Outbreak. Oh, what a lovely looking crew they are. Uh, the first part of this card, as you can see here, is an RRR movement. That stands for Raiders, Rangers, and Refugees. We don't have any right now, so we'll move on to the Breakout. The Breakout section refers to um, if your infection level is that or higher, 7 plus. We're at 0 right now, so there'll be no Breakout. And Consume Supplies. Well, it says yes, so that means we have to consume one of our supplies. We only have 5 puts us down to four. I apologize for the shadows, but my lighting in here is not very good. Uh, and now we look at the next section, which is the Zeds themselves. It looks like there's a special event that happens. You can see by the black border around stuff. And it says, um, if and when eliminated this turn, each civilian or special civilian unit is replaced by a new randomly drawn Zeds unit in the space it occupied when removed from play. <clears throat> well, that's not going to happen. Uh, because the Zeds are not going to interact with any characters this turn or any townspeople, and you'll see that they move on the on four of the tracks. The first track is a suburban track, which is here. They move off the start space, and this one here is a six uh, zombie. It moves up one space, one away from the town. The second movement is in the mountain track, and they're going to move up one as well. The next movement we have is on the highway track, and it's down here, and they move up one, and now one away from a town. And the last is the tunnel track, represented by the black uh, uh, the, down here, and that is uh, this zombie unit, a strength of seven, is moving into the chronotechnics lab. Now, because none of the events happen, we don't really need to look at that bottom text that I read. Uh, and you can see the actions here, it's two. Those are two actions that we have. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use the Sheriff's special ability uh, and he's able to order a civilian around, you know, because he's bossy. So he's going to order one of these civilians to go and forage uh, for some supplies or ammunition. So what we need to do is roll one die and see what we get. So let's have a look here. And we roll a five. And that's pretty good. So that gives us one supply. And we have a sheet here that tells us uh, when we go foraging. Uh, what we do. So if we can see here on a village or town center, if we roll a four or five we get one supply. If we roll a six we get a supply or an ammunition, our choice. So because we lost that supply, uh, let's just add it back. So now we're back up to five supplies. Now we haven't taken any actions because that was the special action from the sheriff. So we have two actions left and I think what we're going to do uh, for the first action, we are actually going to um, start the sheriff down the suburban track. Uh, and he can, uni uh, heroes can move four spaces. So one, two, three, four. Sorry, one, two, three, four. He's, well, he's not, you're not allowed to have two units in the same space. So he's just going to move here for now and get ready for uh, the Zeds moving up the suburbia track. And for a second action, Pickles now. Uh, one of his abilities is when he forages, he actually rolls two dice. So for our second action, he's going to forage in the town center. He's going to roll two dice. We'll see what he gets. Well, one of his dice is a six. So he's actually able to find either ammunition or supplies. So in this instance, I think we're going to take, uh, we're going to actually take an ammunition because when uh, our sheriff starts shooting off his is uh, rounds and taking out Zeds. We're going to need all the ammunition we can get. So anyway, that's how that works. You can see by the card, uh, each card, there's, like I said, 59 of them. Uh, they're all different. And we made it through the first one without too much happening. So that is um, turn one. Join us next time for turn two.